What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and today we're joined by a guildman of mine, uh, Shredder. We're going to go to his page. You want to say hi Shredder? Hi, hang on guys. Alright, so um, he's going to show off his uh, fire rain team which we're going to look at his page right now. He's got it up there. Uh, he's one of the... are you still in top 10 right now? Or top 5? Uh, I think I'm like top 15. I haven't had a lot of time this week, but yeah. Alright, cool. So so he's like in the upper echelons of the PvP of this game. So he has... he runs mainly a firing team. Uh, but instead of using the standard AoE DPS like uh, Utengu or Yotohime or Upume or even Ibaraki, he runs uh, Lord Arakawa because a lot of people in the higher echelons of PvP, they run Shuzu teams. So Lord Arakawa is a great, great counter to Shuzu teams and because of this skill, I think it's a Swallow, is it? Yeah, Swallow, so it allows you to uh, basically remove some of your target's debuffs uh, and it removes some, uh, remove buffs, sorry, it removes some buffs that are normally under spell like the Shuzu link. So right. it's a bit unique in that, in that uh, way. Right, so uh, he's running a shadow set. This he changes between this set and uh, also on his Ibaraki sometimes. Um, what else does he have? He's got the Ameona. Or he's got uh, Hoga, which is Phoenix. We just call it Phoenix because Hoga is like difficult to pronounce. Sashiki and Kamaitachi. Oh, 141 speed. Nice. It's still hella yeah. slow. Alright, so we're going to test out how this works. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys my souls first. Uh, the team that I'll be running <coughs> is the team that I run usually when I fight against Ibaraki team comms in Realm Raids. So I'll run my Otengu, which is... Uh, um, this is my PvP set. Yeah, this is my PvP set. I have another one with higher damage, but I use that for Soul 10. Then I'll also run Ibisu on uh, Soul Edge yeah but I've only got 3 souls like powered up due to lack of resources but still it's pretty close to 30k HP still it's a bit slow has some effect res I've got card banner to level 3 and we're also gonna run Momo uh, same as the video that I showed you guys like I still don't have good Jizos or Soul Edge or any other sets because I've just been farming Joros yeah and uh, what else am I running? I'll be running um, Shuzu whom I gave my Kamai Souls to so she's got my fastest set right now which is some broken broken set still my fastest set is still slow it's like 129 speed uh, I put on Hito which is, who has about 24k HP um, has some defense, some effect res Obviously, I would want to make them tankier, but this is all I can do right now. So yeah, so I'll be running again Utengu, Ibisu, Momo, Shuzu, Hito, and I will run my Meiji. I'll be running Seimei with um, Protect and also Amulet Life right here. That's that's what I usually do. But yeah, I don't think. <laughs> you can see my team in action. Shredder will probably like rip us to pieces. But yeah, let's see how this goes. So first run, he's he's gonna show us uh, three different comps. The first would be the one that we can see on his page right now, which is Fire Rain. Then uh, he's also got some custom Arakawa setup, which some people have been requesting in comment section. Like they've requested to see what Arakawa can do. They're like, I have Arakawa, but I don't see anything special about him and can you show me something that you can do so shredder will show exactly what you can do with arakawa so here we go right if you guys are wondering like the volume is a bit lower because i want to help people to hear the conversation we're having so yeah let's change this up tango right there bisu momo Shuzu and Hito. So if you guys are facing some problems in realm raids against faster teams, this team kind of works. Uh, it don't really have many orbs because I don't bring Zashiki, but Ibisu will bring something there. And I've got Soul Edge, so that will block Ibaraki. But yeah, so here's how it goes. Shred is going to explain how he runs his sure. firing. Alright. So, so basically, 
firing is all about um, heavy control, uh, mm -hmm. specifically using the, the day's status effect, which is a really hard control. Um, so we set it up with, uh, with our puller here. All right. Um, so basically, the way that it works when you do fire aim is you're going to run an Ame owner first. Um, and this works well with Arakawa too. So basically, what it's going to do, I'm getting really lucky here with this box, um, <laughs> is it's going to put a two turn uh, debuff on them, the spy tiers. So it's a slow effect you'll see here. All right. Uh, and then when you follow up with the, the Phoenix, basically, the way his skill works is. If your enemy already has a debuff on them, uh, it has like a percent chance to use the days. So the enemy has to have a debuff on them already. Uh, an army owner, her debuff lasts two turns, costs two orbs, uh, and it also helps to take off any control that's on your team already. So it can dispel debuffs on you and also remove buffs on your enemy. So that also synergizes with Arakawa uh, because the way that his third skill works, the one that eats up the shoes you link, mm -hmm. uh, is it only removes a certain amount of buffs. So if the enemy has like, you know, two or three other buffs on them, you might not always uh, remove the, the shoes you link. So it, it synergizes pretty well in that regard. Right. Uh, so on Siami, we're going to use uh, the Amulet Death for another debuff mm -hmm. and damage amplification. Um, because we've already got the attack skill buff from our Kamiotachi, there's not really much point using Star. And, right. Uh, the Death Amulet works to put another layer of debuff on there. Because versus something like a Shuzu, as you see here, um, sometimes they run effect resist quite high, and if they get their cart banner down, they can remove a lot of the debuffs. Right. So it's good. It's good to kind of layer as many debuffs as you can to sort of you know, give yourself the best chance to. All right, so we saw that. On them. That was a 18k times two, so it's a 36k hit, and that was through the reflect and also through a jizzo, jizzo um, crit reduction. Cool. So he still gets a turn so, again. Yeah, 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 go ahead. So uh, in this situation here, like it's a bit difficult because uh, fire rain is quite orb intensive. So although I have another shot on my cami here, I'm probably don't want to use the pull because it's not going to change the uh, the ordering um, and I need to keep the orbs because yeah, as I say it's quite orb hungry so you need to kind of manage your orbs and if you can see everything stunned you know especially with the use of the army owner as well you just need to really be smart about how often you, you right. know, use all your stuff. Right, so here we got a bit lucky that um, Shuzu got out of stun and she's able to move again so we're going to try and link like this is a situation that you might see often so we'll try to link to see whether we can like get Momo up and mm -hmm. withstand the whole firing because they don't have any healers so if we can actually like withstand yeah. this then the whole counter or tanky strategy might work but Shadow will show how you can move around that so I mean uh, as you can see there I just dispelled uh, a whole bunch of the bus I had on with mm -hmm. my armor owner going to throw down another stun here and basically as long as you have good enough hit effect on your Haguna you're quite likely going to stun the majority of your opponents what's uh, a what's a what's a good use. hit effect um, rate okay well basically like ideally you want to have your slot four um, as a hit effect uh, the the primary uh, stat on it which goes up to 57%. So, I mean, anywhere up to, you know, around 100 is really, is good. Like, uh, at the moment, I'm only running, I think I've got uh, 106, 107, and that's with, I don't know, somewhere between six and 10 effect hit on each of the other. Cool. Uh, the other runes as well. Um, and the other thing to note is, uh, I use Azir Basan on my, Hoguna because it's one of the sets with hit effect on it. Right. Um, so ideally, the best set would be using uh, Azure the Sun and the Sea Sprite right. uh, for the hit effect. This is one of the options you can take. Uh, and as I said again, I'm just going to reiterate, it's a very orb hungry lineup. So because you've got your Azure the Sun on 
your Hoguna here, it, it frees up your Zashiki to put on a fortune cat set. All right. Um, so that's good for more more generation. That's how I run it to be able to sort of spam a bit as Ooh. much as I can. So here we actually got unlucky and we didn't get the Shuji Link removed uh, because he had two buffs on and we got unlucky because our Swallow didn't didn't take off enough buffs. But we'll keep going. I'm not going to use my rain here because everything's got two debuffs on it. I'm quite low. Um, yeah. So we're back to my Hoguna. Um, I've only got two orbs here so I can't use my uh, AoE days again. But as you can see, uh, four of the opponents are still dazed. So I can just single target. And the single target has the same sort of effect as the AoE one. So I can just single target the Shuzu here and... I should stun. See we'll stun again. Right. So if, even if I had the orbs there, I wouldn't have used the AoE because there's no point to just stun one. So we, we need to you know, manage our orbs efficiently. So bearing that in mind again. So basically one of the big, um, one of the big things that can mess up your fire rain if you're doing it is uh, dying to things like Hito Reflect. So Hito should be one of the first, uh, first enemies that you prioritize. Right. Uh, in this situation, however, against like a Tengu, um, you probably need to aim the Tengu first because he's not generally going to get stunned. Right. Um, so here, another thing to note is you can't actually break the, sh the link on Shuzu by attacking Shuzu. So as you can see, you can't actually break it on the Shuzu. Uh, but in the situation there, I don't really want to hit the other units which have their reflect shield on because you know, potentially I die. And once my DPS dies, it's not the end of the match, but it just means the match will take a lot longer sitting here stun locking for you know the next 20 turns. Yeah, it, this, this is like the first time that I've seen uh, Arakawa taking the, the reflect damage because I've fought against you before yeah. and usually it doesn't reflect, so we just got lucky, right? Yeah, well, like I said, like, so if, if I get unlucky and, you know, um, don't break the link two or three times, like quite a few times, then, then uh, it's not there is work. the potential that that I can just kill myself on reflect. And that's one of the one of the things that can mess you up pretty bad. The other thing is if you, um, you know, if you the opponent's running like a Senesio set, right. um, meaning you can get stunned on hit, you know, okay. you can use your, your stun and the enemy can sort of resist it and and stun you back in return. Um, other things like a tree nymph set, uh, so, you know, something that... Uh, so that, that is to counter just, the firing, so that's the stuff that people have to look out when they're running firing. Yeah, essentially. Right. Essentially. Um, so... I'm actually, in this situation, not going to use my... Um, not going to use my AOE stun because my Arakawa is low health and if I if I use it, it's going to put the reflect on everything and my uh, Arakawa is going to hit and kill itself. Right. So I just single single targeted that uh, that Momo and we'll go for the shoot. Cool. So again, it's a lot about orb, managing your orbs, managing your health pool with you know with the limited healing you have available. So. At the stage we're at now, if we continue, basically I'm going to have to kill that Hito last. Right. So this is how people can pick off their opponents. Like, if you can take out Hito first, then that would be best. But if not, mm -hmm. you just take out everyone else because they're probably, they're most likely not going to make a single move. Yeah. Well, like right now, as you can see, if I if I attack, do my AoE attack, it's going to proc the Hito effect and I'll kill myself with my... Right. Uh, with my Arakawa, so I just have to go slow and sort of pick stuff off. And because I've got a slime shield up, I can keep going. But generally, generally, it, you don't normally get to the stage where you kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah, because people just leave, right? Yeah, because basically, when you get to this stage, people leave. But sometimes, like, like, like me, I'm a bit stubborn. If I go into a fight and I'm like, uh, you know what, I, it looks like you're losing, but like, because. You know, the game's all RNG. It, it, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, right? Uh, so it's like, things yeah, right. things could go really well. Like 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 here, we have we have orbs, we uh -huh. can kill Arakawa, alright? And there might be a chance that 
The rest of the team can't kill my team, and Momo is still around, and she might be able to revive Tengu, and we can kill him. All right, like I'm just saying that in case if you're wondering how you're facing a fire rain team. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and kill Arakawa here. Okay, well obviously that didn't work, but yeah, <laughs> basically like, I I you can you can try, you know, like my my Hito is not it's, it's not the it's, best. There's soul. always there's always an element of RNG. Yeah. To all of it, so <laughs> you know. So yeah, so so basically this. So so do you want to continue this or do you want to show like a different team? Uh, so we, we can we can pop another team in if you want. I mean, you can kind of get the idea here where you just yeah. sort of unlock your opponent and you know slowly pick them off. So against the Shuzu, uh, I find Arakawa to be quite good because yeah, like a lot of people also run resistance on their Shuzu. So you know, even if you do go first, if you're faster, which you generally want to be. Um, you know, when people start running world resistance, they still get the shoes you link up, and if you can't, you know, maximize on on your opportunity, you can lose quite easily. Say against like a, a Tengu there, like if, if you got your shoes you link up with your Tengu, and I wasn't running a, a Lord Arakawa, then I'd have a very difficult time doing it. Right, right, right. So, so Arakawa is actually much better to use than um, yeah. than essentially any other <clears throat> DPS because. He, he's got that in ability the, to, to remove that link. So when you're facing counter teams and when you're facing like a team that I just put up, like Arakawa's yeah. uh, better in that situation. So yeah, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, in, we're in gonna spar. Uh, yeah, in the, the current, current meta. Really yeah, in the current meta, it's pretty good, yeah. So, so we're gonna spar. He's gonna another, show. Another thing to know, hang on, I just need to swap this all here. All right. Another thing to know is that. Uh, against counter teams if right. they're dazed they, they can't actually use any of their counters so scarlet in the gami like, like any of those effects like daze is the basically the hardest control there is in this game if you're dazed you can't move you can't you know you, you're here with solid on it can't use the solid it's just stuck basically like it's locked so the only thing that can work yeah. is mirror and any of the reflect passives but that's about it yeah basically yeah. it's um it's a pain in the butt Cool. So, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go with the same team again, and Shad is gonna show his different variation that he has against uh, a counter team. I mean, this is not really a counter team. Like a counter team would look like I, I've showed you guys before. A counter team would probably look something like this. All right. This is probably like the most generic counter team that you'll ever yeah. see. But you can also have different variations. Having this, having this, it all depends on. Sorry, just just the bot. We missed you missed the soul set, so just sorry. Oh, you missed <laughs> the soul set. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Like uh, you go through that, and I'm gonna go through your souls again one by one, so people can yeah. just have a look at what the top players in the game currently. Oops, sorry, mm -hmm. currently uh, have oh, okay. equipped. So let's have a look at his Arakawa. So he's got um, 100 percent, 140 percent attack right here. Yeah, it's got about uh, twenty percent extra health, um, some defense. You know, it's not really quick, you know. It's it's just only got eight speed, ninety two crit, two hundred thirty nine crit damage. Uh, the skill set, he's he. You got lucky. You you maxed the the last skill <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead yeah. of uh, the the first skill because that's usually people will just get everything into the first skill like like me. You know, I always have like the first skill in. So um, we're gonna look at his souls one by one. Um, this could be improved a lot more. You know, he only has like flat attack, mm. speed, and crit rate. I mean, like he can always like improve this soul anytime. I'm sure, he's working on it. This could yeah, also be improved more. One of those things in this game, RNG just kind of tends to decide what it wants to do against yeah. your best wishes. So you've got to yeah. work with what you have. Yeah, you actually things. you have to work with what you have in your sandbox. And like even top players, top players like Shredder. Yeah, he also has difficulty finding souls, so you're not alone, guys. If you're feeling it, like you're not alone. Not everybody goes through it. Uh, so this one has only crit. Wow, there's a lot of improvements you can make for this. Or did you like specifically just go in and you wanted like some effect res on him, or just slapped on whatever uh, you said? It's essentially just I haven't been able to get a better uh, crit rune on that slot. Um, I see. Even rolling this great six one, so. We just kind of go what we got, and with the the last slot there as well, it's the same thing again. All right. Oh yeah. 
it's just the, it's just the RNG of it. Really. Yeah, it's just that the RNG of it. Like like all these souls. Like so, this I would say that there's a lot of room for improvement. But as you can see with just these souls that he currently has, he can still make it to top fifteen, top twenty of the the yeah. the normal duels. And in in co-op duels, you're also pretty high up there, right? You you run with Misato, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> yeah, we got to. We got to uh, top, we we're top ten last week, and I think mm-hmm. at the moment this week we're top ten as well. But because of the time zone, we t- generally don't tend to run the whole thing. We just normally do one day. All right, but, cool. Um, yeah. So uh, um, first we're going to look at Kamai, who has two hundred forty-one speed. Okay, and he's almost going to run for that soul edge thing, which which I, I was theory crafting with him the other day. Mm-hmm. I'm like, the chances of getting speed and also G six souls is coming from soul edge. Yeah. And if you have a Soul Edge Kamai, there's a chance that he can just like, if you're running double pool and you have a Soul Edge Kamai, he can be the one that can block the Ibaraki if you get out speed against another double pooler team. So yeah, yeah it's good to have. Control. It's it's good to have Soul Edge sets. So after Kamai moves, that would be Ameona. So Ameona is 174 speed. So let's do the math real quick. I'm gonna bring up my calculator. Uh, you guys can't see it on the screen, but I, I have my calculator up right now. So 241 times by, se- some people say 76%. I, I say 76%, but most people say 70%. So 70% of that is 168. Alright, but if it's 241 times by 76%, it is 183. So he's got more than 70% of Kamais, but less than 76%. But still, he doesn't get cut. So maybe this game... Uh, because my Shuzu is 129, right, which is supposed to cut if it's higher than uh, the 70%. So apparently this game is just 70% is good enough. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. You know, I, I'm, I'm really not too sure about the speed mechanics of it. But to be safe, I would still say um, 76% because that was just a summoner's world calculation. But people can go with 70%. Mm. So 174 speed. He's got uh, Jizo. Oh, cool. All right, so uh, we've got 18k yep. HP. Um, I think the the important thing to note here is the effect hit, which uh, so basically you just run effect hit and Jizo is just to like so stop yourself yeah. from 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 people's like if they outspeed you or something, right? Jizo is yeah, it's just good for general survivability and it's good versus AOE and because I don't normally run a Hito in any of my lineups, like having multiple Jizos is is good. Mm-hmm. Um, but for I'm owner. You don't need to go too, too crazy on effect hit. Sorry, I've swapped up some of these rooms out now, so you can't see Oh, oh you're still swapping uh, some of these rooms. All right, okay, let me just yeah. like bring up someone else. Um, Hoga, then uh, Zashiki, he's, he mentioned earlier that he ran the, the so, Azure set. So basically, um, right now, the, the Zashiki has the Hoguna set, except with a different slot four. This is essential, so if you look at that, you can see. All right, um, so this was not the that, Hoga set. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you can see the stuff that's on the Azure Basal anyway. All right, right. So um, this was the set that you you ran on there. So a lot of room for improvement. Mm-hmm. It's only got effect hit and speed here. Uh, speed with extra speed, still no effect hit. But so lots of room for improvements. But it still worked. Like you saw it. Like everyone got stunned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone got it's stunned. It's really here. hard to get like um, like a slot two speed on on C Sprite or Azure Basal. Right, right. Because yeah. they're only, you can only get them on the weekend. They're yeah, they're really hard to get. Right. So, but even having no effect hit on it, um, completing the four stake gives an extra fifteen percent. So it's still better than. So so like once you complete that, that's like fifty five percent effect hit plus another fifteen percent. So that is sixty seventy percent mm-hmm. plus the current forty eight. Yeah, so end up on end up on one hundred and six. Well, like uh, you um, get one hundred and six. My effect hit. My effect hit has like. My soft four has like a plus four effect here on something. Alright. Cool. So you're done with your, your, your souls changing? Yeah. yeah Alright, yeah, so yeah. we got a spar and he's gonna show his second variant of how he deals with counter teams. Which which is great. Like this is uh-huh. this is like when I thought of this idea of like showing what how people do with counter teams because like I myself am frustrated when I fight counter teams. Like, I'm like, how do I beat them? I've tried Yao Bikuni, it didn't work. I've tried this, it didn't work. So, Fire Rain seems to be the way. And yeah, I, so, ju- I just so don't have the other, source for it. The other thing that I do, and this is again using our car, is, is essentially 
try not to prop the counter at all. <laughs> so I build as tanky as I can. I bring uh, double heal and shuzu and resist, and I just try to pick off one at a time with our power. Oh, that's the basic. So basically, you run the pretty much this, the, the same that I run so kind it's, of thing. It's it's quite similar, yeah. So you know, you're not going to build up the shooting stacks. You're not going to take a lot of the counter hit. That sort of stuff. If you're just not attacking, except for like your single target, yeah. Mm. So, which actually works better um, because your single target is Arakawa and can break the lick and can kill them off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but I mean, this is this is more of a, a lineup just for general play than specifically against uh, a counter team. Like if you're right. against a counter team, especially one that has shoots and doji in it, then it would be probably better to swap out one of the healers and bring it Amayona. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to help you keep the uh, keep the buffs down, so that you you can break the shoot link easier, uh, and it's also going to help to uh, cleanse the the buffs off of shooting. So Armor Owner's uh, buff dispel can you know dispel the stacks of madness that are shooting. Oh, oh, I didn't down. know that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's really super super useful for that. All right. So so this is going to take hell long. Because uh, essentially that's how it is. Like, uh, <laughs> we'll try to play a bit quickly, but uh, yeah, we we'll, we'll try to play quickly. Like, um, I'll, I'll just like attack. Am I attacking the card pen or is it Shiki? Usually, when I fight this kind of teams, what what I'll do is I'll try and attack out the the Zashiki because he doesn't really have the counter counter for it, right? But if there is Inugami and stuff like that, what you want to generally do is you want to attack the card pen because that would not. Um, yeah. Prop the counters. Yeah, that's that's a really good tip actually. When I run against counter lineups, right? Uh, I I fairly well always just if, if they have an obesity banner up, I try to just hit that in between because it's not gonna prop all the counter attacks on you. And like I said, the best way sometimes to not get countered is to just try and pick things off and not just you know throw AOE into them and, and set up all the counters. So yeah, so so um, this kind of we go here this, this kind of pussy play. All right, so it's is very slow, very is popular. Game, but yeah, but it's very popular you can though. See there, I broke the uh, broke the link, and you know, so more or less it continues like this. And his team attacking into me is going to have a very hard time breaking through and dealing damage. Right. Um, whereas I, at least, you know, running like a single target like Darakawa that has this sort of ability to have the potential to break through and, and actually kill and do damage. So that's another option that you have. Right. And what I try to do usually is when I fight this situation, what I'll do is I'll try to get the link back up on um, Otengu and I'll wait for the attack stacks to like stack really long. And at that point in time, mm. when we have the, the hella attack stacks, I'll just run, I'll, I'll just do the whole AOE, AOE hit thing. And hopefully by then we can yeah. kill them off. Yeah. So yeah, so like a couple of variations you can do um, if you're playing a bit slower is, uh, like I said here, I could replace either the Momo or the um, Ibisu with an Amayona to keep these buffs down and pick stuff off. Um, I could also bring like the Hoguna here. Um, and basically you play a bit slower, but you would time it to, you know, when the, the is not, uh, sorry, the, the Shuzu is not going to throw his link out every single turn so you know you throw your death amulet from Siami uh, and then you wait until the right turn and then you throw your stun and so then in that way you can stun him while the link is down and proceed from there to do some do some damage you could also bring Abiona in into this lineup instead of Zashiki right because of the mm -hmm. how, how Ibisu works yeah 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 either one of the healers you can kind of Deal with and see in this scenario i'm not quite as worried about attacking into the res because i do have a fair bit of healing here that i'll be able to heal myself up with right right um but yes yeah, so games like this are a bit of a core of attrition really um, yeah yeah like like i just just want to show people like how 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 usually people will fight this kind of stuff it's, it's really long uh, really boring kind of stuff like uh, I mean it's not boring like it's it's when you're the one playing it you know in the duels you're like oh cool let's see let's see who who wants to quit first kind of thing you know 
But yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, like, it depends on how you want to play a game. Some people will be like, uh, I'll just, I'll just hit auto and just wait. <laughs> you know, and some people will be like, I really, really want to win this, and and they'll go through it. But yeah, yeah, everything works. Well, like, like when you're playing a slower kind of game, like if you don't get lucky on the speed runes, it kind of pigeonholes you into quite defensive builds. Um, yeah. Whereas. Whereas if because you know if if you're moving second you need to be tanky otherwise you're just going to get wiped out right, right. Um, you know see so if you do have the opportunity to move first you have quite good speed rooms then you have the opportunity to you know do things like a double pull lineup so you know using uh, a Barney and a Kometachi both to pull your whole team ahead of them and then you know try and burst them down with some damage all right uh, you um, know what or do a, a control lineup so. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna switch out this team and I'm gonna put my 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 Inugami and stuff to show how it works like when they yeah. counter. All right, so so oh. I'll just show it because like this one you you pretty much know how it's gonna end in the end. Um, it's either my my Utengu can 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 kill all of them or Arakawa will kill it, take out like my Momo or Hito or something. Yeah. So yeah, that that that's also part RNG. But uh, where is it? Friends, Shredder. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. But hopefully people will find it like um, informative or entertaining yep. at so least. You just, want the, you just want me to put the same team down? Sorry? Uh, no, I'm not going to put the same team. I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, you can put your same team. Oh, I'm no, just no, going to no. put like... Uh, it's going to be easier for you to okay. kill because I will just put my sure. my counter-counter team which essentially only shoots yeah. in like... Fine. So people can see actually like how against a counter team it can work. Yep. All right. So, yeah. So if I were like, you know, if we were seeing each other pick these sort of things in our, you know, you have the little sort of picking phase. Right, um, right. I would have probably, yeah, put like the army in when I see the shooter and that sort of thing as well. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just... Yeah, we just we just roll with whatever because we we want to showcase your team that 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 you've built here. That's okay. It's good to see like what the counter team does too. So, right. Another another interesting thing about uh, Armayona is that is rain, the slow debuff and the buff removal goes through Sami Protect as well, so you can feel safe using it in that situation. Oh, it does. I didn't know that. Mhm. Mm cool. Yeah, it does. Oh, there's also little sort of mechanical things that aren't so obvious in this game, and uh, there's a few descriptions that are wrong with skills. Yeah, yeah, the descriptions so is, is, is annoying me. And... Like the de descriptions are really annoying me. Like <clears throat> they're never right, mm -hmm. you know, and people can make like stupid mistakes from it. Yeah, so you just got to kind of find your own way a little bit. Okay, so so as you guys can see, like my my Inugami is not sold up at all. Like it's sold up, but it's not powered up yet. So yeah, <laughs> if you want to run a counter team, make sure that everything's sold up, right? If not, it, it will just it, it will do it will do nothing. It's not it's not like the it's not like other teams where you can just like put stuff up and and be okay. What happened to my orbs? I thought I had orbs. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, do, do, do you have like a tree limp on somebody? No, no, I don't. I think you must have just used some skills or something. Ah, probably. All right. So yeah. So if even if oh, that that was a normal, stuff. even if that was a normal um, uh, Inukami, like it would have died still because no no Inukami can withstand like forty k HP, forty uh, k damage. I mean, like there there is there are Inukamis that can withstand forty k. But I'm pretty sure. Depends how you. Generally, you don't like build it that way, though. It's a bit of like the thing with this game. Is you, you get mm -hmm. pushed into certain builds, you know, that fit the character well. And you know, like a counter lineup like this would be really, really strong against you know, AOE, um, Abume and Tengu and all these other ones. Like Arakawa is the only one that can really kind of do this thing where it sits back and just play defensive and then pick off. Yeah. Anything else would attack into it, and you'd have your shooting doji countering, you have your inagami countering, like all of these things. So, right. Um, 
so it's so so you can't really see the counter team's potential yeah. against uh, another single target DPS because essentially single single target is like one of the best counters against counter <laughs> a counter against counter well I mean yes and no like if you have your Shuzu link up it's gonna disperse the damage well it's really only against our power that can, can yeah, yeah Arakawa, I mean, Arakawa. That this happens yeah um so uh, you know I'll go ahead and I'll just do some normal attacks here just so you can see the the shoots and ramp up a bit um, another important thing, if you're against uh, an Inagami and mm -hmm. you have to hit something, it's best to aim for the Inagami. Right. Um, so that his counter skill, the passive that he has built in, doesn't prop. So like, if you attack anything else, he can prop with the Scarlet and he can prop with his passive as well. But if you attack directly onto him, then um, obviously it can only prop with the Scarlet. So. Yeah, which makes the, the Inugami pretty, pretty essential in counter team, I think. Uh, what about the new unit that's coming up? Manendake or something? You, you're you against it. You're like, uh, yeah. he, he's not, you, I remember no. you saying that he's, he's okay, but you don't kind of see it because like you, you need to wait for his turn. I, I'm not really sure because again, we I don't think, have the I skills shown yet. And even if the skills on the wiki, yeah. It, it might not be translated well enough, so no idea about that yet. But we'll have to wait until we actually get the unit and, and see how it works. Are I think you... it will be good, but situationally. Like, uh, if you're in a line, uh, like a slow game like this, mm -hmm. then I think that it will be quite, quite strong. Um, in a slow game like this, where you have the opportunity to take multiple turns. Right, right, If right. you were playing against... Uh, like a control team mm -hmm. or a burst damage team like a, like a double pull into the damage um, or, or even like a firing or something like that you're not really going to see the value out of him because he needs to have a turn and then yeah and then you know your team needs to get attacked and, you know like it has some sort of setup to it that you can't just you know just going to put it in and it's going to like be the best thing so it, like, it, it's going to have its uses all right. Um, I think like Inagami and and him are going to be interchangeable for different situations. I think. Cool. That's why I see it, but we'll have to wait and see because the skill descriptions are still. Yeah, it, it's, it's still like it's it's still really it's reliable. it's not really reliable. So yeah, we've got to wait for that. Uh, do you have another team that you can share with us, or are we just going to be done here? Because like I see no point for us like showing off this team because <laughs> you know in the end I will die, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. What's so. Um, uh, no, I think I think that's that's probably no. what I'm really set up to run at the moment is mainly those two teams. Um, so unless you've got another team that you wanted to put out as well. Um, no, no, I've I've got I've got nothing much because the thing is I've I've just been farming Joro for the past few days. Like uh, <laughs> it's I, I'm trying to get that 3,500 tickets. I'm I am currently at seven Joro, so I have 700 tickets. So like I have another. 28 euros too far. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I just wanted yeah. a change of pace, you know, instead of always going for yeah. Soul 10 and stuff and still not getting the Souls UN. I'm Definitely. like, why not take like a, a few days off until the, yeah. the release date, which is the 7th? And I'm like, just go all in on Joros, which is only a few mm. days, like three, four days, uh, which is essentially enough time for you to farm 35 Joros. So, yeah, PSA, yeah. everyone, if uh, this is one PSA that I would like to put out, like, if you guys open. A demon seal. Please, please do not open anything apart from Joro. <laughs> just for these few days, you know, till the seventh. You know, right? Like we, we really, everybody just should just open only Joros, uh, and so that everyone can like have chances to get those Joros. Uh, yeah, it's 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 tough uh, to get in, but but still, yeah. The other thing with that with that new SR is it's going to be really annoying to skill up. Oh yeah. Um, you, you would need I'm to not put sure like, if it's actually going to allow you to buy multiple from from the shrine or not. But even if it did, I don't know that it's worth it. Like, I mean, you I, need so to I, use like. I watched the Chinese video that you put up, which I will put in the link of the description. Uh, it was a video of the Manandake and Shuzu in action against Soul Ten. It kind of seemed like the Taiwanese people only got one. And they borrowed another yeah, yeah. another man and darky from someone else. Yeah. So I think he could be a pretty, pretty, pretty cool unit. Uh, just yeah. just for the fact that you only Even can for, get one. For collection purposes, you want to have it too. If you ever want to mess around with it, you got it, right? 
but yeah, yeah. Like it seems like it's going to be an SR that you have to kind of uh, kind of get it during this like, this limited like time the rumors on as well if you want to skill it up there's not really any other way but so as you can it's black skill so. so all right cool thanks yeah, Shredder. thanks cool, thanks for taking yeah. the time to like uh do this video with yeah, me all right so I'm, I'm waiting for your YouTube channel to also come out because uh, I think you've you've got uh, a really really funny personality and uh, and, yeah, and you've well, got a lot know, of, of good internet, stuff. Yeah. The upload speed here in Australia is just stop. This is not gonna happen. Don't have, don't have the patience for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll, so we'll, we'll, um, we'll make we'll, we'll do another video in the future when we've got a few different other things to show as well. For sure, for sure. All right, so we're gonna stop the video here, guys. Once again, thank you, Shredder. I, I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, I, I pretty much did like learn a lot of things and realized that I actually also need to sold out my guys in order for it to work properly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this is off. Signing out then. Till next time, guys. Oh yeah, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe.